Well, good morning. I hope you all have uh, rested well and are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But if you're like me, I usually wake up early in the morning and work out. So what does a gentleman do after he's done a bunch of Groucho squats and he's famished? Well, we're gonna cook some steak and eggs today. I might have guessed. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some onions and we're gonna cut them up. We're gonna not dice them, but we're gonna cut them lengthwise so we have some long strips of onion. Now I like to use yellow onions because yellow onions I think add a good flavor. I have some avocado oil and we're gonna add some of the avocado oil to this pan. We're gonna take those onions and we're gonna cook them in our pan here. Now we're gonna cook these onions until they're soft and translucent. Okay, now they look like they're soft and translucent and ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them aside and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these pre-minced onions and I'm gonna put them in the pan and I'm gonna cook them as well. Same process until they're translucent and soft. Once they're ready, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my eggs. I have two eggs here. So I'm gonna break these in here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric, just a dash. Turmeric is good for men. And if you're a gentleman, you're gonna to wanna to put it in your eggs. I'm also gonna add some pink Himalayan salt. Not too much, just a little bit for flavor. And since I'm feeling frisky this morning, I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce to the eggs. Now get a whisk and beat the eggs thoroughly so that everything is completely mixed. Now that our diced onions are done, we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs, the mixture, to our pan here. And we're just gonna cook our scrambled eggs in until it's done. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna put it in our plate and set it aside. The steak we're gonna be cooking today is a sirloin tip breakfast steak. It's from a choice beef round. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've pre-marinated it overnight in some Worcestershire sauce. And you guys know I have trouble saying this. We're gonna be using this cast iron pan. I like to use this to cook my steaks because it gives the steaks nice grill lines, as you can see here. Now we have to heat up this pan. Probably this small steak is very thin, so we probably would want to keep it, I would say, no more than two minutes aside. Now let's check the pan. Ow! I think it's probably ready. But to be sure, try the water test. Pour a little water on the pan. If the water sizzles, the steak will sizzle. Now add one tablespoon of butter on the middle of the pan. Now it's time to put the steak on here. There's the sizzle. That's the sound I like to hear. Let each side of the steak cook for about two minutes. Now we're gonna flip it. I don't know if you can see from here, but there's those nice grill marks I was talking about earlier. Steak's done, let's put it on the plate. There's still something that needs to go on top. We're gonna make some gravy, baby. Get another tablespoon of butter and put it in the pan. And let it melt. Then add a cup of chicken broth to the pan. Next, a tablespoon of cornstarch. I like Worcestershire sire sauce. Add a little bit of that. Add a little pink Himalayan salt. Stir the mixture until it thickens. Remember the stringy onions I cooked from earlier? We're gonna put these onions on top of the steak. Let's take a look at our gravy. Yeah, it's thickened. So it's time for that glorious gravy pour. Next, I'm gonna grab a little Hawaiian roll and I'm just going to sear each side with my grill plate. That, my friends, is steak and eggs breakfast. There's something missing. 
can't have steak without a drink. What we're creating today is what I like to call a gentleman's coffee. We're gonna use some pre-brewed coffee, caffeinated, added to the cup. Next, we're gonna add a shot of Irish cream, about one ounce. Pour it into the cup. Next, we're gonna add a fourth of a shot of bourbon. The Irish cream will add sweetness to the coffee, but you're welcome to also add about a teaspoon of brown sugar. Once it's all added, stir everything up, and your coffee is ready to go. Oh yeah, that's gonna wake you up. Well, breakfast is served. See you on the other side. Well, my friends, this is how you have steak and eggs for breakfast. I'm gonna need some alone time with my steak, guys. Bon appetit. Positively shocking.